Hello, I'm Miss Cook and today we're going to help you set up a gizmo account and help you join a class and finally walk you through a gizmo simulation. Before we actually get started, I want to give you a little information about gizmos and why we use them at East Lake Middle. First of all, gizmos are fun, um, but beyond that, research has consistently shown that computer simulations are really powerful tools for improving student learning. The new math and science standards focus on like conceptual understanding and gizmos really do a good job of, of uh, hitting on those. Gizmos was built to develop understanding in the core ideas as well as um, the practices and cross-cutting concepts. Gizmos will really help with the NGSS um, learning expectations. Let's get started. First, you're going to go to explorelearning.com where it takes you to this page. You're going to click on Login, Enroll. Once you click on that, you're going to be prompted for a code, a class code. Your teacher gave you a special code um, for this class. The instant this class is, the code is F3PMHV. G P E L. Then you click on Enroll in Class. From here, you confirm that this is the class you want to enroll in. If it is correct, then you proceed. If you already have an account, you click on Already Have Account. And you'll simply use your username, and which should be your ID number plus your first and last initials and your password should be your eight digit birthday. If you don't have an account, which most of you don't, you need to click on the green light green button that says I need to create an account. Um, register now to enroll. The next screen will prompt you to have some personal information. So you'll have to put your first name and your last name. And your email address. You're not required as a student to put your email address, but it's suggested that you do that because um, just in case you need to retrieve forgotten login information. The username you want to use is your ID number plus your first and last initials. So for, the, for this simulation, I'll use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. First and last initials K and K, and then my birthday is my eight digit password. Then you click submit. So when you first log into Gizmos, this is kind of what it's going to look like. Um, you can return to your class anytime by selecting the class link right here at the main nav navigation bar at the top right. You may have more than one teacher, multiple teachers, using the gizmo, so you also might see multiple tabs here. Your name is at the top right-hand corner, the account settings, where you could change your password, um, you could put an email address, um, and update a password if you need to, but I wouldn't bother with these settings. You can also enroll, if you have another teacher, you can enroll in a class link here to add a class. So let's go back to classes. Once you've selected a class, all the gizmos chosen by your teacher are under that class um, title. To use a gizmo on the list, all you need to do is click on um, Launch Gizmo. Once you're here, you'll see your gizmo um, this happens to be a food chain gizmo. Um, each gizmo has its set of controls that you could change uh, one at a time, variables. They also have different ways, different 
uh, ways that data is displayed. You have tables, bar charts, graphs, and every gizmo has at least um, two ways to see data. Before you begin a gizmo, it's also recommended that you take some assessment questions. This will kind of help you guide the um, where the model is going for you. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this screencast of mine, my very first one ever. Um, next time we'll talk about how to use the controls and how to manipulate some of the tools for gizmos. Have a nice day.